all right all right yo hello everybody yo for the viewers that are actually like watching with your eyes yo is my forehead big bro i think i've been told like before that i got a big forehead i know i got a big head just in general even like if i was to cut down my uh my hair i i could barely fit a do-rag on it without it feeling like it's a tight a tight squeeze but anyways i don't think i really got a big head i just wanted to go ahead and get that off my chest i, I just thought about it but welcome to the podcast everyone and everybody i hope that y'all are doing well of course this is the out of love podcast and of course me fluff as your host or michael or graham fluffy whatever you want to call me whatever floats your boat i honestly just don't care just don't call me out of the name that uh i agree to or not agree to but uh what i gave myself I'd be like yay <laughs> which actually brings me on to uh, the first topic i didn't think i was going to talk about this first i didn't even i don't even have this on my list but yo kanye out here actually i'm sorry kanye i meant to say yay because now his name has officially he stated officially my name is now what yay but instead of kanye honestly i like the yay better because uh, have you listened to yay or have you listened to kanye i mean but it comes down to it i'm pretty lazy so yay just works out hella better and plus i've been liking what he's been doing with uh his brand put in like stuff for twenty dollars i'm not sure where he's going with that or what type of profits that he's actually turned or anything like that sounds pretty cool though i mean i would probably do it i would do it for like like an event or something i wouldn't do it for like a holiday i would just do it for like an event i'll have a just like a pop-up surprise event just randomly probably in a month they ain't got no holidays like march which is march boy march ain't really got that much holidays i don't think well it has like saint patrick's day and i guess this year it's gonna be uh easter which honestly um without the leap year easter probably wouldn't be in march i think it will probably be the first sunday of april instead of the last sunday of march which is kind of weird to me i always thought that easter was on the first sunday of uh, april but I could have sworn I was growing up like that. Every every year I grew up, that bitch was on the first Sunday of April. It was either the first or the second Sunday of April. Never have I seen it on March in my 26 years of living on this planet. But, I mean, back on topic, though, cool for Kanye. I mean, cool for Ye. I like what he's doing pretty well. Um. Any other little things that's happened recently, news related wise, I guess. Nothing political or anything like that. More entertaining news. Like of course, yay. Um the white girl, the Bobby, Bobby girl getting a divorce, but I mean that's crazy. She I I guess that she just she had a lot. We're, we're going to put it like this. She had a lot of podcasts with a lot of rappers. That that marriage was doomed to fail at that point. Uh, yeah, a white woman want to go talk to a whole bunch of black rappers. And you don't think something's going to come out of it? Crazy. Po and then she posted a picture of uh, her wearing a Rich the Kid hoodie and stuff like that trying to do some weird uh what is it that little diamond sign or people call it like the illuminati or music illuminati or whatever the fuck or the eye thing honestly don't give a fuck people are going crazy though i think people take shit out of proportion which will lead me into my next topic but twitter people take shit way out of proportion from what it looked like, people are trying to speculate that she won't even take care of her kid. Like, dog. 
just because that she's had some some black uh some black kumba does not mean that she is going to be giving up on kid that's crazy that's crazy to me that people would think that but i mean people are stupid so one fourth of the population is stupid so i mean it's not clogged yeah yo. both of my pins are not clogged nice which I actually I haven't done this since like I was doing the podcast uh, earlier with, when I had the name as Puff the Fluff, but I have to do no. There's no sponsorship because, well, doc, I, I don't even really have people watch this shit. But I'm big chief. If anybody ends up watching this, and if they're still the same company that they are today as of the March of the 2024, big chief lit, dude. If you if you want a cartridge, get a big chief, bro. Or get get one that has a hole. Like you can't really see it that well. But that's a big enough hole for it to not get clogged that much. So you will want one with a decent sized hole to not get clogged. Like I, if it's if this ever gets really clogged, I can just stick a toothpick down it and like get some of it out. And it'll just be an easy little fix compared to like shit like this where it's like flat i'm not sure if you can really see it that much where it's just like flat it has a very small hole dude i have to, I have to split like a toothpick in half just to be able to stick something down there to unclog it a little bit so i can heat it up and then be able to uh take a take a hit but big chief shout out to them pretty dope um honestly even though I just complained about this, shout out to Rove too. Rove is pretty lit. I will say Rove stuff is a lot weaker than Big Chiefs. But yeah, we're gonna leave that there. I tried to keep it up, man. I tried. But has there been anything that's happening with me, man? I don't know, yo, like, been in school. School's been all right. It's, it's just whatever. I feel like some people on like my campus, they never really seen like a black person go to school. So it kind of confuses them, which I mean, it's pretty crazy, but there, there'd be a lot. But school, you get to see like where the actual people come outside. Because some people just don't come outside and it's like who actually what type of people lives in this area and then whenever you go to school it turns out like yeah damn bro, these some of these motherfuckers should have stayed inside bro high key some of these motherfuckers should have stayed inside but i let people do whatever they want i don't say anything to them i don't do anything to them but does it bother me probably not no actually no not really but hey Yo, if bullying was still a thing, boy, if bullying was still a thing, I tell you one thing, the the motherfuckers that I seen would have definitely got bullied. They wouldn't got bullied by me, because honestly, I think even while bullying was a thing, I just honestly don't give a fuck. You live your life how you want to, but you can tell, you can look at somebody and be like, damn, bro, like, bro, if bullying was still a thing, dog, I'm not sure if you make it. <laughs> like I'm not I'm not sure if you make it you make it outright. But kudos to them though for being themselves. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, school, no work, just, just trying to save money. Chilling. Got a couple little games. I'm thinking about going back into streaming. Like I thought about streaming this podcast live. I might start doing that in April. But dude, my mark I I just been lazy on trying to market anything of this podcast. So I didn't even I haven't marketed since episode three. I think this is the eighth episode. But I think at this point I'm just gonna save it all. I'm gonna save it until I get to ten episodes. So probably around like May or June, and then I'm gonna just start dumping stuff. Like I'm gonna have I'm gonna try to start having like weekly stuff so I can 
built up content while still making other content. Probably hire somebody off of like Upwork or Fiverr or for some weird reason, if you end up coming here and you're like a fucking uh, video editor and shit like that and you want to fucking do that, let me know in the comments because honestly, I probably I'll be able to pay you like some. But. You never fucking know. Just like I never fucking know. But if you come in the comments talking about bro, hold on, like bro, I got you. One, I do, I do one video edit for five hundred. I might want to spend five hundred to take a round trip just to slap your ass. Just get out of my face, bro. You think I got five hundred dollars to waste? Like really? Unless like you know you got some amazing work or you're doing like you know movie type editing and you know like all that shit and you like that's what your main job is you're just doing this on the side then that's different because that's quality so yeah um my girl ended up calling so i ended up answering the phone at this time so if it sounds different probably from like if you're an audio listener that's whatever but Anyways, I'm going to take this time now to give a great shout out to uh, my boy Jake the dog. Okay. Jake the dog is the definition of a man that got that dog in him. But just wanted to give that little shout out to y'all. Back to the little fucking podcast. See you later. All right. <laughs> I am now fully back. I completely forgot where I was at on this uh, conversation or whatever. I, I actually forgot where I was talking about. My girl called. I answered. I just edited that bitch. But I hate whenever, like, well, I don't hate it because right now it's actually really good. But you never just go and just, like, start getting random stuff while you're on the phone. I fucked around and got me some chips, Starburst, jelly beans. This, I don't know how you say this, but it's like this infused uh, tea. It's pretty nice, raspberry flavored. It's a cool 100 milligrams inside of it. So it's pretty nice. Probably not going to drink the whole thing. You never know. Whatever this is, really nice brand. Their cheese is actually really fucking good too. Closer to like a uh, brisk on that level of goodness. Pretty fucking good. But mm. all right. Oh, I know where I was going to. Start off with my actual topics, but I forgot where I left off. But I don't know where the fuck we left off. We was talking about something about Twitter. But anyways, on a Twitter topic, dude, 100% man, yo, fuck Twitter, bro. High key, fuck Twitter. I'm getting tired of Twitter. I try to like get into it and I'm like kind of into it now. And I'm just like, bro, this place is ass. Dude, there's fucking ads everywhere look on a reply if you want to you're not gonna get what the fuck that you was looking for you wanted to see what other people replied to about the post nah man nah you get men's size actually matters or you'll get some bullshit of whole different videos that are somewhat related but not even closely related to the topic and you have to scroll all the way through this so much bullshit, dude. The Twitter, Twitter is becoming a filter, so people can post whatever the fuck that they want, but the replies is going to get filtered the fuck out. So you're not even going to know if the post is actually like a actual factual or some trolling or what. Like they did incorporate the stuff for like ads. 
or like the thing where it says, oh, most replies are saying that it's this, and then they'll put that there. That's pretty cool. But if it ain't got it there, bro, and I'm having to scroll through, it's kind of pissing me off. Um, Twitter porn being everywhere is pissing me off. Like, I don't, I don't want to see that. I didn't come on here to watch porn. I could do that as a pregame. Yeah. But I'm not trying to always sit on here and just see porn. Like, fuck. And it's everywhere. Trying to follow, follow like some streamers. And then next thing you know, my, my for you is like other streamers. So I like look on their shit. And the next thing you know, they got porn everywhere. Like some OF fucking model or some dumb shit like that. The only one that doesn't have, like the porn shit is fight videos. But whenever I go on a fight video, it's either racism happening or something crazy talking about whatever or like whatever. It's just so stupid. And then people on Twitter are fucking idiots, bro. I swear people on Twitter are fucking idiots. Like, there is no way in hell that y'all are agreeing with these clickbaits. Like, hold on. I'm gonna pull up this one shit right here. Put my glasses on. Or it's like, I don't even think this one is even clickbait. This is just some stupid shit that I just found. Where is this talking about? Uh, elderly white man gets savagely knocked out and assaulted by our greatest strength. This is what a fatherless society looks like. And then playing from this fucking video. Like, bro, what the fuck is this old man doing? Like. And then, oh, and yeah. Of course. Like, bro, what are you doing there? Why? And you talk about a fatherless society and shit like that. I mean, what the fuck was this old man doing? Why are you in the middle of people that are spinning their cars? And they obviously tried to not hit him because old dude right here stops to make sure he doesn't hit him. To go forward. Like, bro. And then look at this. Talking about a fatherless society. This guy is probably a father. Why are you trying to take somebody out of the car? And you wonder why your shit got rocked. Now, at this point, this was a little over excessive as fuck. But. Crazy. Crazy. And then the comments. The comments, I think, is what really kind of just took me over the edge, bro. Talking about people fight in World War II for this. Blah, blah, blah. Talking about fucking throwing their shits inside of the fucking trash or whatever the fuck. Their rifles into the trash. And then now no one... We'll have to fight for this zoo country. This this country is pretty crazy. Like this this part, one hundred percent. I don't think anyone wants to do that. That's why they're having a problem right now recruiting people. But is this? This is the white lives matter post. Now we're going back into the lives matter bullshit. Is I thought that we all agreed back in twenty twenty two that this whole lives matter bullshit was this was a wrap i thought we were done with this but now it's on to white lives matter and then seeing from like these different things like bro come on now how you gonna say white lives matter right play the video bruh come on play the video hold on Go ahead and redo that. Pause. Now, how y'all gonna tell me out of these group of obviously fucking probably like 
I would say the ages between like 16 lowest to probably fucking like 25. This little decade of people. How are you going to say white lives matter? We see like all these white people coming up on them. Going up against them. Honestly, who, who was the person that, that just rocked his shit though? Crazy. Yeah, buddy, buddy was not white, but. You have you have all these white people coming in here. You can't tell me that there isn't white people that's just jumping on this man, right? Like it is You say white lives matter, but dog, murder white people right there. That's about it. It's it's a divert. I I don't know what to say, man. Kind of stumbled. I don't think this is a a white lives matter situation. That's why I think it's fucking stupid. You have white people in there that is also against the old white men. Like, bro. Come on now. And can we talk about this old white man using a bag? Motherfuckers using a purse to try to hit a car. I'm glad it fucking froze right there. What the fuck are you doing out here, bro? Why do you have this? Huh? Like, tell me, somebody please tell me why that he has this. And why are you going around hitting people's cars? Would it? These people are not even trying to bother you. Like, you put yourself in this situation like a fucking dumbass. Are you talking about fatherless behavior? This is fatherless behavior right here. This is a group. This is a community. And this motherfucker right here is just coming in here with one bullshit. This is a this is some fatherless shit. This motherfucker had no father. All these other motherfuckers are community bonded together all for like one thing. And that's like cars. Got this old ass white man with a fucking purse trying to hit a car. This is fatherless behavior, dude. Get the fuck out of here. This is not a fatherless society. This is just fatherless behavior, you fucking mooks. But now that I got that ran off my chest, yeah, that's what I had to say about that. This is also fatherless behavior. Both of them fatherless. Both of them are fatherless. We don't need to see the rest of that. But, I mean, come on now. Obviously, we can tell what the fuck happened there, but people want to put stuff into like their own perspective for their own progress and blah, blah, blah. Dude, I'm getting really tired of it. And Twitter is like the main focus point. I think just social media is just the main focus point of trying to keep people divided for no reason. It just doesn't make sense. It's pretty fucking stupid. Nobody gives a fuck. And honestly, none of y'all lives matter. Except it. Fuck. The world is going to keep turning without your life. So live for yourself. What the fuck? Worry about all this other people and shit. All lives matter. White lives matter. Black lives matter. Asian lives matter. End of the day, that none of that shit matters. Boy. None of it. If we can all agree that none of that shit matters, maybe this will be a better place. Because if none of it matters, then for some fucking reason, it always turns around to be y'all niggas actually matter. So, because people like to do the opposite of what stuff says. So, if you tell people that no lives matter, then. 
people will start probably looking, will probably most likely start looking at it as all lives matter without even thinking about it in that perspective. So, hey. But fuck Twitter. I key. Don't like this platform at all. People take everything out of perspective. So stupid. I'm getting tired. I'm 100% getting tired of these leaks. Quote unquote leaks. Okay. I'm getting tired of these shits too. I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of this shit. Great day. But on a lighter note, dude, I want to tell y'all about a story. That's pretty is. I want to say it's pretty crazy. But for it to be in high school, should have never happened whatsoever. It should have never happened. So we ended up. So there was two times where me and my friends have went into an abandoned house and threw a party in it. I'm going to tell you about one of the times where we did it. And I think it was prom. I think it was after prom. It was like an after prom party, like an after party. So I didn't go to prom because one, I was not about to go to prom and start listening to all that white music. Two, um, dude, I didn't even get my picture taken, bro. I was not trying to be remembered at that school whatsoever. So I didn't want to do any of that. Three, um, just no, man. I went to go set up the after party, bruh. So what I did with me and my homies, because we did not go to prom. Prom was not worth it whatsoever. So what we ended up doing was we went to this neighborhood that was across the street from us. Like, it was like diagonal. So it was like the neighborhood was like here that we lived in. And the other neighborhood was like over here. So we went over there, right? And we saw that there was a house that was for sale. So we ended up looking in like through the windows and stuff. And we saw that, yo, this place is actually empty. Like 100% like, yo. We could throw an after party here. It's, it's prom. You just let people know. Pop up basically for the after party at the abandoned house. So we had an abandoned house uh, party. It was pretty lit. We ended up. Uh, we ended up setting everything up. We got lucky because. Well, we thought we got lucky. Cause one of the homies had a dealer and he was like, yeah, I, I can be able to actually make it over there. It was like, cool. So we had a dealer, we had a house, we had one, we had someone that was able to get alcohol. It was lit. That's all that we needed, bro. Cause that's all that you need in house parties. We had that. It, well, and we also had speakers, but that's like a package that we already have. I mean, it's a group of black people. We have speakers, bro. Like. There, there is no, there's no, oh, do you have a speaker? Like, no, bro, we got speakers, though. Don't worry about it. <laughs> like, that, that's just, that's just what we do. But basically, we set that up. We threw everybody invites through uh, Snapchat, because, you know, Snapchat was actually popping back then. But we sent people uh, invites through Snapchat, everybody that we kind of just knew that was going to the prom anyways. So... We got that. We uh, ended up, I think we ended up, uh, we ended up having to break the back window. So the door was, so you know how the door is like right there in the back and there's usually like a window that's right next to it. We broke that window that was next to it to be able to like get inside. So we broke it at the top to be able to flip the, the little switch. So we flipped it. Lifted that shit up and then we went inside and then unlocked the door. So, luckily, the house had no security whatsoever because I don't know why, dude. This was like a this this was a five bedroom house. You had no CPI, whatever. But we ended up doing that. We got everything set up. We got the speakers in there, just chilling, vibing. We were smoking. 
waiting until we got around uh the time that we said i think we started at i think it was around like nine i think we said we we're gonna start at nine and then people ended up showing up people showed up on time because well white people show up on time bro crazy Yo, who shows up on time to a party that's a whole different discussion but they ended up showing up on time so we was playing music and everything and then next thing you know the drug dealer comes bro. oh my god dude this man was he came with his homie right him and his homie both were strapped and plus on house arrest bro we saw it we were like yo old dude has he he has an ankle bracelet bro it's it's these niggas gotta go so we was in there in the garage with them because of course we gotta smoke you gotta smoke with your dealers sometimes and if it's a party and you invited them to come you're gonna smoke with you so we smoked with them a little bit and then we try to tell them be like look yo we were like yo what's that what's what's on your ankle bro and then he lifts it up he's like oh i'm just on house arrest but it's okay though because i disconnected it dude next thing you know i think it's around like 10 15 minutes later we hear the cops it was like pew, pew, pew. so it was we ended up running out so we ended up running out and just scattering like everybody just scattered from the house I jumped the fence and rode under a tree. I was like, bro, there's no way that they're catching me, dog. I'm like a fucking ninja. And this is me also being high and lazy. So after that, they ended up catching the the drug dealers because they took off in a car. And what up happened? Damn, this fucking Starburst jelly being so good. But what ended up happening was they got them and then they ended up leaving because you know the house we turned like literally everything off bro everything got shut the fuck down we turned the breakers completely off we were like fuck that we're not going through the house turn the breaker turn all them switches off and we dipped so we ended up coming back and other people ended up coming back too around like the same time and then next thing you know, we just pop that shit off again. And then after that, there was another group of kids, but they came from like a rival school that ended up coming. We have no idea how they got the dress or anything like that. They ended up coming. But the problem was, is that these motherfuckers bang. And I was like, man, I'm not about to deal with these people right now. We got Terrell anyways, which was some like six foot black grown ass man that he had, he, he's a little special, but we had him come to find out. I woke up off of like some sound and next thing you know, they're like in a fight. Terrell done threw a dude from the second floor you know how like the like houses have like the second floor and you have like that little where the stairs is that little balcony to see over threw him off of that shit then next thing you know homie at least homie didn't get hurt because he landed uh on like his side so he landed like somewhere like right here or whatever so he didn't have like no cracked head or anything like that so we didn't have to worry about him we just ended up uh picking him up or well, we didn't pick him up. His homies picked him up and they dipped. I'm like, bro, what happened? And next thing you know, come to find out, one of those dudes owed my homie money. I think it was just like, I, th I think it was around like $200 that he owed him or something like that. And they ended up fighting about it. And next thing you know, it. It just turned into that and Terrell just went off. I wish I was awake for that part so I can actually be able to tell y'all. But that motherfucker crazy. But we ended up uh 
We ended up going back. Next thing you know, uh, and that's it. Nothing crazy, bro. I was about to say something from another, uh, from the other house party, but yeah, no, we just ended up going back and that was it. Kind of a little bit of a crazy night. I think I was meaning to tell y'all about the other house party, huh? Either way. Mm, I'll tell y'all about that later. Honestly, that was kind of crazy. We, we did some wild shit. We ended up, uh, we stole a car. We did. But we didn't steal a car. We borrowed a car. Did some crazy shit. Got a steamroller. Slept under a fucking uh, tree next to a tennis court before I ended up going home. <clears throat> Pretty crazy. But uh, I'll tell y'all more about that story next time. Because I really want to get into talking about game. Gaming. gaming boy dude i don't know what it is i think lately now gaming has just been so much more fun for me it's just been way much more fun and i think it's because well of course playing with friends but i think like getting into like all these like different other games it just makes it so much more fun like i've been started i started to play um I got Hell Divers 2, played it a little bit. I was supposed to play it this weekend with my friends, but uh I had company. But that but what else? I we started like playing like just random games off of Steam, like little free games or probably some that's just gonna cost like a couple of dollars or whatever. Just trying out like new little indie games that nobody really plays. And so far, dude, it's been really fun. I've been playing Lego 2K Drive. Actually a really fun game. I don't know what to tell y'all, bro. It's, it's pretty good. I I got because it's set up like you have three different cars basically. So you have like a street car, you have like a off road car, and then you have a boat. I know I said three cars, but you have two cars and a boat. All right. But basically, like there people since it's actual like Legos and you. You can make your own car and like, so you have to actually know the exact pieces of what the fuck you're going to make. But people would just be making some crazy stuff. Like I got the, the mystery ink van from a uh, Scooby-Doo. I got some like weird kind of car. And then I think my boat is like a whale. So I got a, no, it's like a dolphin boat or something like that. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty fun game. I like it. Apparently like the story is really good. I haven't played a story yet. But I'm about to, though. Probably after this podcast, honestly. I just like to play more chill, relaxing games. Or even, like, on my phone, man. On my phone, I started playing Souls. Um, that one review that's on uh, Apple talking about Souls, saying, like, you know, like it's more of, like, a relaxing con game. Yeah, it's pretty chill. Granted, it is, like, one of those seasonal, you know, like, those seasonal gotcha-type games, like uh, Top Arena. Or, or no, Arena AFK or like those idle games and shit like that. So it is exactly like those, but it's not like seasonal. Man. So and plus the how you upgrade like your monsters and everything is way different and it's not stressful. So it's been pretty fun. Play that because I like to play idle, idle games on my phone. Or like I play Pokemon Go with my girl. You about to be, we about to be best friends. Yeah, buddy, we about to be best friends. So I can be able to start trading her legendaries. I don't know, man. Gaming has just been really fun. And I think it's also because of the fact that um, I started really watching uh, Shangri-La Frontier, which, honestly, Shangri-La Frontier, top tier. I don't know if you want to call it an isekai, because I know isekais, you go to, like, you get transported to a different world, but... I don't know what to call them. I call them VR gaming animes because you can still, you go back and forth from basically the virtual world and the real world. There's no like tie. There's, there's no like disconnects from it. Basically like you can't get stuck in the game. So that's why I really like it. But homie is just a, he's, I, how can I explain this? He's a, he's a trash gamer. That's trying out a new game. 
And the new game is like one of the best games in the whole world. And it's just a really good story. But watching that and then making me realize like, yo, I should actually be trying to play out some of these other games because he plays like trash games. So he does with like bugs and stuff like that. It just makes it look fun. So I, that's why I started playing like games like uh, Goose Goose Duck. Yeah, I, I should play it. As, but it's kind of like, um, it's like Among Us with different modes, basically. Or playing um, Wizard 101, stuff like that. Dude, just just other games that's not the main AAA titles. I feel like that's where people, people that say that gaming is falling off is because they're playing these fucking games that literally market and repeat themselves because y'all like it and y'all just, they just give it a different story and shit. That's it. And stories are pretty easy to come by, honestly, because you could think of an idea for a story and then just give that to somebody and somebody else can make a story. So if you think about it like that, but nah, man, I really want like that whole set for, for anybody that's watched Shangri-La Frontier, you know how like it's like a helmet that he puts on and like you get transported into the game. Like I, I want to get like something like that. Like I want to be alive for whenever that happens, like whatever nerve stuff that they're doing, they need to go ahead and, uh, hurry up. Cause your boy is trying to be playing games inside of the game. That's what I want to do. Bro. I want to be, I want to go through the actual like adventure or something like that. Like I want to move my body and stuff. Like when I get enough money, probably for Christmas, I'm going to get myself by the time Christmas hits, I'm going to get myself a new PC. I'm going to get myself, uh, probably the quest three or four, whatever is going to be out the latest one or whatever. And I'm going to get one of those cat. Uh, machines, which is the omnidirectional treadmills, so I can be able to move around inside the game because I want to feel like I'm actually in the game. Like sometimes you get tired of just moving your fingers around, and you just want to like actually, like you would rather just be in the game. Like you would rather do those movements yourself, you know, because the game will allow you to do those movements. Of course, you want to be able to do them in real life. Well, that's just something that I really want to, I really want it to happen. Cause like right now, she ain't really it. I know like for tech, like they're making the glasses, they made the AR glasses. I don't know how I would feel about playing AR games on like the glasses. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But I would like to do like actual like being transported into a world. I could like change my skin color, hair, because I always like to like. I feel like people who customize and create characters and like MMORPGs and like really get down or like any RPG, basically, and you really get down into the details of like creating your character. You're sitting there for like hours those are the people that know exactly what i'm talking about you want to have like that feeling of being in the game but you don't have to look like you know yourself you know what i mean like you look like you like you look cool like cool in like your head as in like in the game wise like you look dope as fuck now wearing that shit actually outside in public i don't know about that it's pretty hot I don't know about that. You look weird. But, yeah, man. I'm going to need that VR game in the hurry to fuck up. Elon, I know you're a part of it somehow. Hurry that shit up, dog. Hurry it up. Fix whatever nerve shit you got. Hurry that bitch up. Your boy's trying to play this game. Or if they did, like, imagine... You being able to transport your dumb ass into like World of Warcraft. Or transport your dumb ass into 
Final Fantasy Online. Dude, that'd be lit. Dude, I would love to get transported into fucking Final Fantasy Online. I know there would be a problem of like, oh, you know, you you need to spend more time in the real life, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, it's pretty simple to just implement in the system of a time limit and saying like, you know, if somebody has been playing for like 12 hours straight of, you know, an hour before, yeah, you're about to get kicked off of the system because it's been 12 hours. That's easy. That, that shouldn't really be like a hard thing to do. So that's just me personally. But people will end up changing that to where they'll just take it off, probably put it back on and go back in because you took it off. Essentially, you you basically reset the time or they already reset the time for you. That's what I feel like they should do. If they ever do come to it. And if y'all ever see this video and you take my idea, just know. You're welcome. But yeah, dude, that would be lit. And since we're still on the topic of uh, gaming, though, uh, Xbox? Actually, let's start off with this. The whole gaming industry in general. <laughs> what the fuck is happening right now, dude? Why is everybody getting fired? <laughs> Why? Like, are y'all firing people because y'all hired too much? Are y'all firing people because y'all trying something new? Are y'all going to make something completely new or what? Bro, there has to be some type of explanation for why, like, companies like Sony, I think Sony fired like 600 or 900 people. Uh, Xbox fired, like, Microsoft fired like a good amount of people. Who are, I think, EA fire, like the gaming industries themselves too, like EA firing people, respawn firing people. Like, bro, why is so many people getting fired? Like, it's crazy. It just, it just doesn't make sense to me. But hopefully those people that got fired and know what they're doing go into a smaller company or make their own company and hopefully they become successful and not dickheads because <coughs> i mean fuck, that's crazy but yeah hopefully hopefully they they figure out some shit because that's a lot of people that's getting laid off that's thousands of people just in the gaming industry that's getting fired that's wild and Xbox, you need more of an explanation of what's happening here. Like, why are you getting rid of your exclusives? Please tell me why. I mean, I I get that since y'all, y'all, you know, fucked yourselves over by bringing over Xbox exclusives to Microsoft, y'all kind of fucked over your own system. And that's why y'all are so confused on why xbox sales are trash because nobody needs an xbox because you have pcs granted if y'all are trying to just get rid of the xbox in general then y'all should just make your own pc bro just make a make a diff not not have it as a console just make y'all own version of like a PC. Cause I mean, we have like all these different brands like MSI, Cyber Power, whatever the fuck, Razer, shit like that. We have like all these brands, but like, is there, is there Microsoft PCs or like Microsoft brand PCs or turn, you could just turn the Xbox into the PC. Just do it like that. 
so people can you know buy your pc so they would still have the features of like regular pcs and everything with no problems but you'll just have that extra oomph of like xbox in it to where you can you can just be able to like switch back and forth e like hella easy between you feeling like you're on a pc to you're feeling like you're on like you're playing on an xbox y'all just gotta master that into y'all pc and that'd be lit that would be like that could be like y'all signature kind of thing for xbox now because xbox needs something and y'all just can't keep making consoles like eventually you're gonna have to make the xbox into a fucking pc Either either go that route or try making Xbox into like virtual stuff. So now you can have the exclusives. You can have more exclusives on the VR type gaming space. You know what I mean? Like, I, I hope that I'm not tripping right now or I'm just thinking too deep into this. But like, I, I feel like that's what the fuck Xbox should really do. Because at this point, Xbox is just trash. Like, just get a PC. Have no exclusives. PlayStation has, like, a catalog now that's hella good. So, I don't know, man. I don't I feel sorry for these Xbox fans. They don't know what the fuck they're going to be doing whenever, like, next shit comes out. But hopefully, Microsoft just makes an Xbox PC and that's really what they need to do and then so for whenever they say pc exclusives they could also just say xbox exclusives because honestly they could they could still do xbox exclusives on pc because a lot of people get games from steam but if they make an xbox pc they could still have steam on there so they could still switch between and you could still have xbox exclusives to where people would end up playing will have to get a pc that is an xbox pc so it, it's just basically more convenient for somebody to buy an xbox pc that's basically an upgrade from their regular pc compared to them buying a console and still having a pc that's all that i'm saying i feel like it i feel like that's a pretty good idea I don't, I'm not sure if I'm just tripping too much, but hey, that's what I think that y'all should do. My opinion. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. Last thing I want to talk about is music. Boy, you got to talk about music. Either music or anime, and we're doing music this time. But. Um, dude, I don't know what's happening to, to, uh, rap and hip hop lately, but bro, we need to, we need some help. <coughs> we, need, we need something to save. Cause, um, honestly, a lot of rap nowadays is not really that good. I might have to keep it a buck with you. It's not really that good. The fact that you know Miles is getting mentioned on Jimmy Fallon is crazy. That's that's wild. Like, come on now, bro. What the fuck? You know Miles on Jimmy Fallon. That is wild. We need to go ahead and uh, we gotta revert this. We need to go ahead and change this, or we need to make that type of like we need to make meme rap his own different category and just call it meme songs okay that's it they're just meme songs because bro <laughs> rap ain't looking too good but outside of like the memes i will say that i'm also getting tired of these shorter songs and it feels like it's low effort it's like low effort songs like bring 
bring more songs that had three verses, bro. You have a verse in the beginning, chorus, verse in the middle, chorus, and then an ending verse. And then you could throw the chorus in there again, bro. I want to vibe out to the song for like, like a good minute, bro. I don't want to just vibe for just two minutes and then it's like next song. And I'm like, it just doesn't, it doesn't satisfy. And then it's like, fuck. It's like, you know, I was vibing with that bitch and it ended early. It feels like, like you could, you, the people could do more people. You can have like a whole, like just beat little solo. You don't have to just say like words all the time. Just have, just make the song longer because people vibe out to the beat. Bro, damn. Just do that. Fuck. Getting tired of songs just being like two minutes and 30 seconds. Three minutes. Like, bro, make four minute songs. Nigga. Oh, fuck. Just make four minute songs. I feel like that's how songs. Songs should be three and a half minutes to a max of like five. Four minutes. It's not that much to ask for, bro. You're an artist. Apply yourself. Throw another verse on that bitch. You're being lazy. Apply yourself. Fuck. God damn. Trying to vibe out to your song, bitch. But you only got two verses with one chorus. You thought that was good? Fuck. <laughs> But honestly, what music that I feel like will save 2024 for like rap music in general is Smino. Hopefully Smino, I would, I would like to have a couple of songs from Smino and uh, Denzel Curry since they found out that they're family and they're cousins. You could put a fucking album together. I hope that y'all are working on that. I pray that y'all are working on that. Because, damn, that would be pretty lit. Uh, who else? Let's see here. I have this actually written down. Killer Mike and Outkast collab album. That would be lit. Look, Andre 3000 already said that he is down to make more music with Big Boy. It's mainly just Big Boy. I'm not sure what he has said. I'm not sure if there's been any type of reply to it or what, but if we could have, cause they can, they can make songs like, uh, like they made the song together, uh, whole world, you know, like, uh, it goes like, cause the whole world does it when you don't get down. That song was fire as fuck. We can use more music like that today. We can use more music from people that actually like from like, how can I put it? You know how like back in the, like the nineties, they actually use actual instruments. We can use more music like that in the rap industry, honestly, because this whole fucking pressing buttons and shit like that, it just, it's not really hitting the same way. It's not feeling like the same way Like you could tell the difference from older music when they were using actual instruments. Until now to where it feels like it's just fucking it's like weird ass sounds and like how the fuck did you actually make that sound? So I don't know. That gonna end up working out. But have have more music have have a beat like that and then put some people on there that's like coast coast contra. Which we need more coast contra music, um mo motherfuckers. I don't know where y'all at or what y'all doing. But um where the album? Where's more music? Where did your music go? Come on now. We need more of that. Don't just be no wonders. Don't just make one album and be like, okay, um, we're good. We're set. Like, nah. Keep that shit rolling. Y'all right now are the closest people to sounding like Wu Tang. We need a new Wu Tang and y'all motherfuckers could just be that. Saying it like it is, y'all motherfuckers could just be that. 
and then plus i know for a fact you can definitely get uh uh what's his name rizza you could definitely get method man you could definitely probably even get uh, ghost face like y'all can have like these features because y'all make the similar type of music like they will rock with y'all basically like y'all have that same kind of vibe they will rock with you then who else uh a song i wouldn't say like an album but a, a banger song would be fucking jid and if jid could be able to get kendrick to feature ooh, boy that song will be fire as fuck that song will be fire so as a um drake but drake just proved that he could still do take care music so stop fucking around make a make a take care type song and throw brent in that bitch or you can even throw an old dude that sounds like brent that four bats, you could throw him in there as well, too. And I know that you told that man really not to do that low voice that much. I know that you did. I know that, Drake, I know that you did not like that shit. Because that shit sounded kind of fucking weird. But yeah, dude, all that. If people just ended up making like more music that was like, as I said, with like real instruments, stuff like that. If we get these actual fucking collabs and features and shit, oh, that'd be great. Or having three verses so I can actually vibe out to the song, that'd be great too. Because I mean, like, bro, y'all niggas are just getting lazy. Stop getting lazy, bro. People are now getting more attention on to like, you know, rap and hip hop and stuff like that. And they're not trying to like be like cultural appropriate and shit like that. Like they actually are vibing and really liking like rap and hip hop. Y'all niggas stop being lazy, nigga. Damn. Just stop being lazy. Put the three verses. Let us vibe to it. But that's all I got to say. Finally made it through it, dude. I had a whole phone call during this shit. I got an hour and 30 to edit. But that's crazy. Either way, though, I hope that y'all stay blessed. Peace. I'm going to go across the street and get me this food that I got over there. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Fuck, where's my mouth?